So I was in a Q&A the other day, and a teacher asked me a, an interesting question. They said, when we're dealing with a Google Meet, when we're using a Google Meet for our students, what I would like to be able to do is present my screen to them. But one of the things I find is I'd, I'd prefer to also be able to see what's going on in the Meet as well. And I answered the teacher's question on how they could do this. But as I was talking, I realized that um, people may not necessarily be able to really visualize what I'm talking about. And essentially, the solution is just to create a new window um, that you use for the presentation while keeping the meet in another window. So since people are, um, in many cases, doing this on Chromebooks, I thought, well, let's do a little demonstration on what it is I actually mean. Uh, so that you can see. Now if you're dealing with a desktop and you have multiple windows, it's a little bit easier, especially if you have a little more real estate in your monitor. But if you're on a Chromebook or laptop, you may not typically use multiple windows at the same time. So let's just take a look at how we might be able to do that. So here I am in a Google Meet and I've got a student already loaded and, and what I'd like to do is eventually show you what the student is seeing I'll pop that up at the bottom at some point just so you can see uh, the perspective of the presenter and the perspective of the person viewing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by uh, collapsing this window a little bit. Right now by default it's going to be in the maximize mode. So I'm going to come up here to this little button here and I'm going to shrink that down. Now that's going to shrink it down to a particular size. It really depends on what you've been doing on your uh, device up until that point. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position this over on the left. And you can position it wherever you want, but I'm just going to position it on the left. And uh, my particular Chromebook, I don't know if yours does this or your computer allows you to do this, but if I, if I select the window here and I just drag it over to the right hand side, what it allows me to do is to snap it on the left hand side. It basically takes up half of the monitor and it's going to snap it right there to the left hand side. And what I want to do is I want to create a new window. So I'm going to come up here to the More button. I'm going to click New Window. That's going to give me a new window. And you see it's putting it on the right-hand side. Uh, if it didn't, if you had it somewhere else um, and it was a different size, you can certainly resize it as you desire. But I'm going to take advantage of that little uh, tool there of, of resizing it and put it on the right-hand side. So now I'm in my presentation. Now I have another window open. Oh, by the way, if you are in a presentation, you probably want to get this set up ahead of time, but you know you can certainly do it on the fly if you want. And now I'm just going to hop over to my Google Drive, and I'm going to load up uh, something that I might use to present to my class. So I'll click this, Google Slide, and I'll just present. I'll just uh, pretend that this is going to be what it is that I am presenting. Now I'm not going to put this into full mode. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to put this into complete presentation mode because that's going to take up my entire screen and that would um, eliminate my ability to see what's going on there. So I, I don't want to do that. But let's just take a look at how I would actually uh, present with this screen and still keep an eye on this screen. So I'm going to go to present now and instead of using the entire screen I'm going to use a window. And the next screen that pops up should be uh, a screen that allows me to select which window I want to use for the sharing. And so this is the one that has my Meet in it, and this is the one that has my Google Slides. So I'm going to click on this one and click Share. And now what this is going to do is it's going to show this particular screen to the people in the Google Meet. Now you can see over here it says I'm presenting to everyone. I'm not seeing what I'm presenting over here, but I am controlling that over here. And that, so that's where I'm going to pop up at the bottom uh, the perspective of the student to, to show you what they're seeing. And now what I can do is I can go through my presentation here. And it doesn't have to be a Google slide. You can pretty much present whatever it is you want. So if you need to open up a new tab, you can come up here. You can search something on Google. You could load up a web page or something. Uh, you could start, um, you know, if you want to draw, if you're Google School, you could open up a Jamboard if you have access to that. I have a jam there. I could start a new one. I could just use this one. Okay, I'm going to load that up and then I can use the pen here and I can make some notes. A little awkward uh, without a mouse using a trackpad. If you have a mouse you can do that. Um, there's a little laser pointer I like in the Jamboard so you can kind of show people some things and then it fades away. Pretty cool. Um, but again, this is not on Jamboard. You can load up whatever you want over here 
and you're going to be keeping an eye on what's going on in your meet. So if you have people popping in and out, if you've got people talking, if you need to go ahead and mute somebody, uh, see what somebody's doing, you can certainly go ahead and do that. All right, when you're done, you can go ahead and stop presenting. And then you're back to normal. And then you can leave this window open if you want to come back to it later, or you can maximize this again. Uh, you can do whatever it is that you want to do. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that little tip. And hopefully you can put that into practice if this was something you were looking to implement on your own.